to me, this is exciting. This is like, this is a solution. I wish uh, like in April or something like that uh, to launch like the larger scale manufacturing deployment of uh, tests. Doesn't matter what test they are. It's obviously the capitalist system would create cheaper and cheaper tests that, that would be hopefully driving down to $1. So what, what are we talking about in America? There's, I don't know, 300 plus uh, million people. So that means you want to be testing regularly, right? Mm -hmm. So how many do you think it's possible to manufacture? What would be the ultimate goal to manufacture per month? Yep. So if we want to slow this virus and actually stop it from transmitting, achieve what I call herd effects, like vaccine herd immunity, uh, herd effects are when you get that R value below one. Uh, through preventing onward transmission. If we want to do that with these tests, we need about 20 million to 40 million of them every day, uh, which is not a lot. In the uh, United States. In the United States. So we could do it. There's other ways you can have two people in a household uh, swab each other, you know, swab uh, themselves rather, and then mix, you know, put the swabs into the same tube and onto one test. So you can pool. So you can get a, a, a two or three X uh, gain in efficiency through pooling in the household could do that in schools or offices too, where everyone just uses a swab. You have a, there's two people, like, I mean, even if it's just standing in line mm -hmm. at a public testing site or something, you know, you could just say, okay, these two are the, the last people to test or swab themselves. They go into one, one thing. And if it comes back positive, then you just do each person and, you know, it's rapid. So you right. can just say to the people, one of you is positive, let's test you again. Mm -hmm. um, so there's ways to get the efficiency gains much better, but let's say I think that the that the optimal number right now that matches sort of what we can produce more or less today, if we wanted, is 20 million a day. Right now, one company that I, I don't have their test here, but one company is already producing five million tests themselves and shipping them overseas. It's an American company based in California called Inova, and they are giving five million tests to the UK every day. Not to the, you know, and this is just because there's no, the, the federal government hasn't authorized these tests. Today. So without the support of the, the government. So yeah, so essentially if, if the government just puts some support behind it, then uh, then yeah, you can get 20 million, probably easy. Oh yeah, this, I mean, just here I have three different companies. These, they all look similar. Well, this one's closed, but these are three different companies right here. This is a fourth, Abbott. No, this is a fifth. This is a sixth. <laughs> these two are a little bit different. Do you mind if, in a little bit, would you take some of these? Or yeah, let's do let's do it. We can we can uh, we can absolutely do that.